down, and this is the part that's put in at the time of surgery, so once it's in, you don't see it again except on an x-ray. This portion here goes under the skin behind the ear, and in this diagram, let's see it right here. And then the part that actually goes in the cochlea of the inner ear is a spiral. And you see that little tiny curl right there, the size of a pea? That's how big that is. That's the part that goes in the inner ear with the electrode bands uh, to which different pitches or tones are fed. Um, but once this is put in and sewed up, the uh, incision has to heal for three to four weeks before you can use the outside part, which is called the processor. And here's an example of a cochlear implant processor. And if you don't wear a processor on the outside, you can't hear anything with the implant. So a child who's been implanted but not wearing an externally worn processor as, as deaf as they were before they started, or even more so, because once you put the implant in the ear, your hearing is even worse than it was before, because there's now there's an implant in there until you wear something on the outside. Can you tell me a little bit about your meatball story? Well, I don't really know it. What do you mean, don't really know it? I know some of the words. Okay, well, just tell me a little you bit about it. it. Just. So the first, what is the first page? Um, I have a meatball. Yeah, and Whoa. inside the book, does it, what does it show inside the book? Pictures. Pictures of you doing what? Cooking. Cooking, and did it tell me what kind of, what did, what did you put in the meatballs? Um, what did you put in the meatballs that mommy said she doesn't like? Oregano. Oregano? I don't like oregano either. If you were going to tell me how, I don't know how to make a meatball, can you tell me how? You put egg mm -hmm. and breadcrumbs. Well, I don't know really how to make meatballs. Well, you know what you put in them, though. Egg, breadcrumbs. And... Tennis balls. Beef. Beef. <laughs> and what did Miss Rubin put in... What did you and Miss Ruben put in the meatballs that you and Grammy didn't? Green pepper. Green peppers. Yum. What else? Anything else? Eh. Oregano. <laughs> Trevor, did you cut the peppers with a knife, or did Miss Ruben use the knife? Miss Ruben. Ah, uh, good. That's good. Sometimes it's dangerous for children to use a knife. And then what do you, once you mix everything together, then what do you do? Make meatballs. But how? How do you make them into a ball? Roll them. Roll them with your hands? How did it feel? You told me it felt... Squishy. <laughs> and squashy. Squishy and squashy? <laughs> 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 <laughs>